Okay, I got <clears throat> X9 open. I'm just going to open a new plan. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to draw a box. Okay, now I'm going to build a, a new floor. Build. Oh, build. <laughs> Not edit. Build floor, build floor. Oh, that's build roof. Sorry. I want build floor. There it is. Build new floor. Okay. And we'll derive the second floor. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And I'm going to set the ceiling height to uh, 36 inches. 36. And I'm going to have no ceiling over this. So that the floor, this second floor, is going to be the actual roof. There's the second floor. And I'm going to go over here to the materials and floor finish. That wouldn't be very appropriate for a roof. Go over here to uh, library materials. And go to roadways, asphalt. Hello. There you go. And we'll take a look at this. There's your 36 inch parapet wall. I, I click in there and get rid of the base mold. That's not very appropriate for uh, a roof. I, I suppose that could represent flashing, but I, I commonly <clears throat> just go over to moldings and get rid of the moldings. And uh, if I wanted the siding on the inside, uh, this is probably more appropriate. Let me just change this. I'm going to go over here to uh, I Normally you'd have stucco walls. I mean, you don't have to have stucco walls, but I'm I, I think I want stucco in this case and I'm going to go over here to uh, Pick something I don't like those so yeah, I'll use that. Okay, I'm going to set my, uh, I forget what you call this, the mode, edit mode of this tool and set it to plan. So it just does all the, it'll do all the walls at the same time. Click on the inside. Now I've got a more finished kind of a look. If I wanted a, uh, to show a slanted roof, then I'm just going to go into a cross section camera. There's my quote unquote roof, and we'll just draw a polyline on top of that roof and then make that an isosceles triangle and convert it to a polyline solid, make it. Uh, 14 feet thick. That's in 14 feet in plan view. I'm going to go back. To, oh, there's my polyline solid. Oh, okay, I didn't know how large to make it. So I'm going to, I'll just fit it inside the roof and uh, do an overview again. There's my parapet wall with a, with a slanted roof. Now, if I wanted to be uh, really cute with this. I'm going to pull this back and get my asphalt and set it to component mode this time and color the polyline solid and then put the polyline solid back. That's basically what I was trying to communicate and this gives you a nice clean parapets of slanted, a slanted roof. Of course you have to cut some holes in in the wall for drainage, but that's not just what this tutorial is about. That's what I was talking about, Dan. Uh, I hope this helps you. Thanks for watching.